medical school it can okay, be some other okay. friend from medical school it can be a friend from uh, your school days or a relative that you have not called recently for the last 2 to 3 weeks uh, you know okay. or a master member for example who called you or did not call you for the last few weeks calling them off the cuff and reconnecting is what i need there sure bishan sure clear bishan makes sense yes it will make sense bishan yeah Go. Cool. Thank you, Dr. Shiv. I'm really looking forward to having the ten commitment tasks done by next uh, yes, next two weeks. It's going to be amazing for you. I'm looking forward to having great things done for you. Thank, thank you, thank you, Bishal. Thank you so much. All right, Johnny, you are on. If you can unmute yourself, welcome to this call. I know you have a question you sent in um, about presentation, so let's deal with that. How, who else? Who else apart from me remembers Johnny? Yeah, Rajesh is here. Yeah. yeah. All right. Mahesh is like, who's John? Yeah, he is Johnny. Please go on. Uh, Bishal, I request your uh, help uh, because I have a uh, very important presentation next week that is on 27th with one of the global leads. So I was just thinking, I know, like if I can get some few tips from you, that will be great help. So that's why I'm here. Cool. So, what is this presentation about? Um, the presentation is all about. Um, I'll be getting only just five minutes. Uh, basically, introducing my team and uh, also my department. The the department I head for India. I have to introduce the uh, the department as well as just my leadership. So it's just a, it's an introduction speech, basically introducing you, yeah, your correct. team, and your leadership. Yeah. So I'll be just saying. Uh, five unique things about my department to the the global lead saying that this is how my team is you know my department is unique these are the five things i just want to explain how many people do you have in your department johnny uh, i have 118 people mm, okay but i will be just talking about five unique things what uh, the team is doing and also just you know we have five different uh, teams within the department so i just say i have these these teams within the my organization and also i do these five unique things compared to other world teams cool and who is who's the audience who will be in the audience um one of my global lead oh he got stuck i can't hear him uh leadership of the company okay. Okay, uh, you got stuck for a little while in the video. So you said there will be a global leadership team sorry, sorry. listening to the speech. Yeah, the, the global lead and the India leadership, business leadership. How many people total in the audience? Uh, that will be about ten uh, people. Ten people. Okay, cool. Less than ten. Ten people. Maybe eight to ten people. Uh, right. Yeah. So I think a, all a great topics. thing would be for. Right. So one of the biggest ways you can start the speech or presentation with is one of the ways I do it, which is a framework I use called "What most people know about me is dash dash dash. What most people don't know about me is dash dash dash." So, for example, what okay. instead of me, you can say us here. What most people know about our department okay. is that they are productive, they are powerful, and they get things done. what most people don't know about them is and then you create a curiosity factor you write okay create something creative or something doing that what happens people instantly feel more um makes sense yeah yeah got it got it i i got it so for example i can say what most people know about dr shiv is that he is the managing director of the indian public school he is getting writing a book he is also creating a special website what most people don't know about him is that he is literally a doctor he actually finished his medical school few years back now instant connection like wow i did not know that you want to create a oh i did not know that factor in the in the beginning of your presentation johnny so by doing that what happens is people listen to you they pay respect they pay attention and then you can say for the next um after you create that uh, initial factor you can just say um you know for the next 10 5 minutes you are going to discover this is the road map guys if you remember in the 
in the program we spoke about the roadmap. In the next five minutes, you are going to discover five things about our department and my team so that you can be more clear about their value and more clear about how they add significant amount of impact to our company. Point number one, and you go point number one, point number two, point number three, point number four, point number five, and then you recap everything. Johnny, if you did not listen, that's fine. I'm recording this call. I'll send you access to that. Okay, great, um, great. And then you record, you do the whole thing and so and summarize. So I'll just quickly say what I said, Johnny. So first of all, sure. you want to create that what most people know about me and don't. And then yeah. you give a roadmap. Like in the next five minutes, uh, gentlemen, you will, or ladies and gentlemen, Raj Lakshmi is here. Uh, ladies and yes. gentlemen, there are five things you'll discover uh, about my team that you did not know about. And then say point number one, this is the thing. Point number two, this is the thing. Point three, four, five. Then recap saying these are the five things. And then end with a catchphrase or a quotation or uh, if there is a quotation of your company. You work for Accenture, correct? Correct, correct. So you can go to Google and type Accenture philosophies, Accenture core philosophies. If you already know it, that's fine. And take one yeah. of those core philosophies quotations and high performance so delivered. The whole high performance delivered. So <laughs> you can say, so these are the five things that about my team, ladies and gentlemen, this is high performance delivered. And point Thank you. At that time. Yes. Great. Cool. Thank you so much, Vishal. Thank you so much. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks for being on the call. See you soon. All right. You. Let's continue with the pleasure. Thank you. All Thank right. You. So let's Thank you. Thanks. All right. Let's go to let's go to Rajesh. Yeah, I think uh, the biggest takeaway is uh, to be highly visible and rarely accessible. Um, I had realized earlier itself that uh, you know. By, by really by um, going through the fire kind of sort that uh, if you don't schedule things and all, you will be in really trouble. So, so.